Former Prime Minister and billionaire Najib Mikati has been named as the Lebanon's Prime Minister designate after he secured enough votes in parliamentary consultations chaired by President Michael Aoun. Mikati now has the uphill task of forming a government which his predecessor Saad Hariri failed to do. Now, Mikati's victory did not come as a surprise. He was being seen as a consensus candidate by Lebanon's deeply divided political parties. He became the favorite choice as the veteran has already served the country's prime minister as the country's prime minister twice. If he forms a cabinet, then this will be his third term as the prime minister. However, the 65-year-old is not as loved by the masses as he is by the classes. This is Mikati, who is one of Lebanon's richest men, is seen as the co country's symbol of corrupt ruling elite. In fact, he was even targeted during the anti-government protests in 2019. The voting was a cakewalk for Mikati as a veteran leader and former Prime Minister Saad Hariri refused to try to form a government again. Saad Hariri resigned as the Prime Minister designate earlier this month and according to reports, he had differences with the President. Lebanon has been without a functional government for nearly a year now. Former Prime Minister Hassan Diab stepped down after the Beirut blast last August. Over 200 people were killed in the blast which happened due to negligence and handling, mishandling of explosives at the Beirut port. Apart from forming a cabinet, Megati also has the task of pulling Lebanon out of an economic crisis which the World Bank has dubbed as one of the world's worst in over 150 years. His appointment also comes at a time when the public trust in the government is at a historic low. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.